Hi, in this video we're going to show Metadata Manager from Informatica, just the data lineage portion. We've had customers come to us and um, ask us what Metadata Manager would be used for and one of the biggest um, benefits is lineage to use for uh, compliance or data governance. So this video is just going to show a, a quick uh, usage of data lineage. Um, I'm logged into Metadata Manager now. I've got two different repositories over here. Um, this is a source called Dev, which is an Oracle database. And we have a schema in here called dist. We have different tables in here, actor, customer, that kind of information. And then we also have our Informatica repository. So obviously in a production environment, you probably have more databases. You'd have your source, target, and some other um, databases or, or flat files or something like that. But uh, right now, we just have these two right here. So what we're going to show is, let's go back to my Mint. Let's go back to, up to Oracle here. So I want to show under customer columns, I want to know where the first name of this customer is used within my organization. So this is, we're playing like um, dev is our, our source Oracle database. So I want to see where this goes. So if I right mouse click on the first name here and I click on run lineage, it's going to go to my uh, meta model and try to figure out where first name is used within the entire structure. So over here on the left hand side we have power center. So this shows the source. So this, there's a mapping out here called M customer FF that takes a file called customer.csv. There's the column there called first name. It loads this into the dev database. So it loads it into a under the dist schema under a table called customer. So you can see where this where this is being sourced. And this is just our, our lab example here. Um, this would, you know, we were playing like this would be our source, this would be our target, but uh, this actually kind of shows you the full range here of how it got populated. And then from here on this table, uh, when is it used as a source? So over here in Power Center, we show we there's two mappings one M customer to flat file or FF, the other one's M test composite connection. So we come over here and we can see that we're just going to concentrate on this one right here the first name here and the full name. So it's like, okay, wait, why is full name used in here? So we understand first name is probably just drug all the way through, but how do we do that? So if we come in here and maximize this mapping, we're able to see that here's a source qualifier, here's a uh, expression, and here's a flat file. And see how full name is there? So let's, let's drill down into the expression here. And it looks like we have first name and full name here. So this is how we're so we're probably doing a concatenation of first name and, and uh and, and uh, the last name. So just to show you that, um, you know, uh, Metadata Manager of the Lineage will, will track, you know, if this port is used, if it's um, used in a calculation or masked or concatenated, uh, Metadata Manager is going to tell you. Um, so even if we didn't have first name come through, full name would be here and you would, and then you would know that first name was used in here. So let's go look at our mapping real quick. This is our M customer to FF, and this just shows you that we have our customer as our source and we have a flat file sitting out here. And as you can see we have this full name. So let's follow this into our expression that we saw and what I did here was just do a simple concatenation of first name and last name. And So let's go back to our browser and so that just kind of shows you as you can see this would be a lot larger but I'm just showing you one column in here that you can draw all the way down to a column. You can also do a table so you can right mouse click at a table level too, the customer table, and you can say uh, run lineage just on the customer table to see where the customer table is used within your uh, organization as well. So obviously this is going to be a lot larger because there's a lot more mappings that are using this. And another nice feature is if you go to actions and then export, you can now export that as a diagram and as an image file. So it'll come up as a PNG file, so you can email that easily to somebody, or you can have an Excel document. And one last thing I want to cover here, and this is just the loading piece. Um, you might have seen this before, but this is how we, we load. So we have Power Center repository, so I can right mouse click on this at any time. I could um, click Start Load, and I can also schedule it on the Schedule tab. Same thing with this Oracle database. I can right mouse click any time, start the load if you make changes, or you can also do a schedule as well. Um, that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to cover in this video. Thanks for watching.